Hey guys, this is Hertel and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. I recently bought the Night Witch in my shop for 40,000 gold and I just wanted to showcase uh, some gameplay that I actually had recently because I thought that it was worthwhile. Alright, or it will be worthwhile for you guys at least to watch. Anyway, so the executioners dropped down in the back behind the his king tower, I drop golem, of course. Just waiting on elixir. Both even, I drop my mega minion over there so that way the executioner can't hit my mega minion. Of course he has tornado because executioner tornado is super strong in the current meta. So not looking too hot for us right now. Unfortunately, he, those e-barbs are going to give us trouble, potentially. That log came in clutch because it managed to kill those fire spirits. Unfortunately, he had e-barbs on my tower, and I basically just gave him that tower because there was no point in wasting more elixir on defending because regardless, I was going to lose it. So at this point, he was probably pretty happy with himself. You know, he's thought that he was going to win. I throw out the angry face because I lost my tower pretty quickly into the game. He's already going for the three crown, so I just dropped Mega Mini in there. And then I wait a little bit and drop down a goal on the bridge. So at this moment, I knew he was probably going to tornado all that. So I fireball it. He tornadoes it, but I mean, I'm still able to finish off his Valkyrie, which is pretty good for us. His Fire Spirit's too decent. His Executioner um, doing okay, I suppose. He uses a Zap. Not too sure why, but I guess to mitigate the damage. Anyway, so my Night Witch is down, and my Tombstone. Mega Minion on that Executioner. Night Witch going in to finish off the ex other Executioners, as well as that Mega Minion helping. Then I just drop a golem in front. All the, unfortunately, all the bats and mega minions got in front of my golem. Not too big of a deal though because my minions also had the same fate. But I dropped down another night witch right here. Fireball at all. Night witch going and finishing off the e bar. Going in. Doing work right there. All the little bats. And I just log that to get additional damage. At this point, I wasn't very concerned because I knew I could fireball and zap most likely to finish off his tower, so that's exactly what I did. Fireball and zap right before the match would have ended. So we're going into sudden death. And yeah, overtime is always pretty intense, of course. He's going for the three crown, pushing super hard right here. I just drop a Night Witch, Mega Minion, managed to clean up all of his troops. He sends in a Miner. At this point, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go for the two crown. Golem at the bridge. He drops e -barb. super desperate play for that three crown. Counter with the tombstone. He zaps it. Minions drop down. He has an execution. Mega Minion, um, I drop mine. His fire spirits join him. Night Witch comes in clutch right there. Unfortunately, a miner nearly finishes me off. Can he 3 crown me? 49 health, and I end up 2 crown him. That was one of the most intense games I have had with a while, especially with the Night Witch. That was an insane game, but luckily I managed to win. So that's always fun. <laughs> Alright, so let's just scroll past the Fireball Challenge. And this is another match that I wanted to show you guys. It was pretty intense. So I'm facing Nicholas Chua from Aura Radiances. And yeah, let's go. So I drop my Night Witch right here. He drops a Minion Horde Miner. I fireball his Minion Horde. One bat is working on that. Miner, he throws out the well played. At this point, I wasn't too concerned because my Night Witch is making it way down the right lane. His Skarmy did a fairly decent job at countering that Night Witch, though. He actually manages to get a few skelly hits. I log that Goblin Barrel. 
and drop gold. So at this point, he clearly has a bait deck because he just drops his princess. I counter with minions. He zaps that. My goal, meanwhile, is lumbering down the left uh, side of the lane. And then I drop a Night Witch in behind to try and support that. I even go as far as zapping that Inferno. Hour. Unfortunately, that Skarmy wrecks my Night Witch as well as finishes up my Golem. Uh, and that bursts into Golemite. Bats manage to get a few shots off as well as those Golemites on both Arena Towers. So, not looking great, but not terrible either. I just let that Goblin Barrel get damage on my tower because I wanted to save up for a Golem and drop it behind my King Tower. So this time my Golem's going down the right lane. He drops Princess. I'm just waiting. Tombstone. Building up a push here. He sends in a Miner. I send in a Mega Minion to finish off that Miner as pulls on Nightwick. He has a Minion Horde, which does pretty good right here. My Mega Minion Bats and Golemites are able to get close to the tower, but not quite. Drops another Skeleton Horde. I drop a Golem at the bridge. And then I drop Minions, because I know at this point he's going to try basically baiting me out. Lock down that Goblin Horde. I have a huge push going. He places a desperate Inferno Tower in front of him. His arena tower. Golemite's doing work. Well, Golem, so sorry. The Golemites are about to come out here. There they are. I counter with the Mega Minion just to mitigate the damage on my King Tower. I send another Golem on the left side. Of Meanwhile, Night Witch and Golemites are doing work, as well as those bats on that King Tower. He does not know what to do at this point. He's getting pretty desperate to stop me with all those troops, and I actually end up through crowning it. He's clearly mad right there, because he thought that he was going to win. Anyways, if you guys don't have the Night Witch, I highly recommend it if you can somehow manage to pull it out of the chest, because it is super good in this current meta. Also, uh, we are currently recruiting. We don't have too many members, only 18. I recently kicked quite a few inactive players, so I'll pop up my uh, clan tag right here. It is hashtag or pound, whatever you want to call it, YRL9RGR, and I'll just leave that on the screen if you want to pause it. And yeah, you guys are welcome to join me if you want to, and I will see you guys.